Hi once again everyone and welcome back to One English Tip in One Minute for Portuguese Speakers, where each week I talk about one common English mistake that those who speak Portuguese as a mother tongue make when they speak English. And this is the 28th video, or video number 28. I say it often, and I say it because I mean it, and I mean it more every week, truly. So I totally admire that you are working to improve your English, and I hope you keep it up. So if you haven't heard that before, then I will explain how this works. So I show you a slide, and on the slide there are two sentences. One is the correct way that someone who speaks English as a mother tongue says it. The other is the wrong way that many Portuguese speakers say it. So your job is to decide which one is correct. So please do that now. Read the sentences, listen to me read the sentences, pause the video, think about your answer, and I will talk about the answer in the slide that follows this slide. Which is correct. Everybody likes to relax in the summer, or all the people likes to relax in the summer. So again, pause the video to think about your answer. The correct answer is everybody likes to relax in the summer. The word everybody is used in a general sense and it's a very, very common word in English so you really do have to know it. We do say all the people when we refer to a specific group and as is written here, all the people who went on the cruise, but it is much, much less common than everybody. Okay, in an ideal world, everybody got this right, and there's no need to kind of continue on with this, but we do not live in an ideal world. So I'm sure many of you out there got this wrong, or you just happened to take a wild guess and get it right. And it simply means that you need to start to study to get past that mistake. And as I've said before, it doesn't take much, I think. You just need to recognize the mistake, which I now hope you do, and you need to study. So to start you off on that studying path, I've given you three sentences to study from. You should memorize these sentences in their entirety. You should review them and really drill them into your brain. You should put into practice what you've learned through speaking or writing or both. And you should continue that process, making mistakes along the way until you've mastered this. And the bad English is out of your head and the good English is in there. And hopefully to stay, 